Hi. <laughs> Do you mind if I join you? Oh, I'm I'm waiting for someone's boyfriend. No, just just a friend. Ah. Look, I uh, I never do this, but I, I thought have maybe. I a boyfriend. Um, he just can't be here right now. I'm in a long time distance relationship. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. How do you do it? Benny, wake up. What do you want? What time did you get home? Four. Mm-hmm. Okay. You need to replace the AC. Oh well. Okay, but today, all right, there's gonna be a heat wave. Not this year. <sighs> okay, but my year it's gonna be a hundred degrees outside and I don't wanna come home to an oven, okay? I'm suffocating. I'll do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you don't fix it, I will. I mean, you remember what happened with the shower head, okay? So what happened with the shower head? She installed a new one because she wanted stronger water pressure, and she inadvertently bifurcated the shower into two separate timelines. Since the lease is under my name and my year, any alteration she makes impacts the time-space compression and limits where we could coexist. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And we used to have really good shower sinks. <laughs> Did you try amalgamating your split timelines by replacing your shower head with the exact same model she installed? We tried that, it didn't work. What happens if you're in the bath? <sighs> I, sorry. I mean, I know a couple in a six month long time distance relationship and they just got engaged. Yeah, but that's six months. I mean, Benny is three years behind me. <laughs> yeah. But you two are so great together. How would you know that? I mean, you've never met him. You can't ever meet him. I'm just trying to tell you what you want to hear. Honestly, I couldn't do it. I love him. It's just, I mean, I don't know if he'll ever catch up to me. Did you eat? No, I was waiting for you. <laughs> what, do you want to order something? Bombay Shack is closing. Yeah, I told you that. It's a juicery now. Why do you think I keep on making you order from there? Because you're bossy. <laughs> okay, I have some more. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy how some phrases are so embedded with pop culture that we can't use them in everyday life anymore? Yeah. It's like, um, I am your father. When would you ever need to say that? Um, 
you would listen to me. I am your father. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you see what I mean, right? Our mind can interpret any other way. Oh, or um, like the other day, I was carrying groceries and I was like, hold the door! <laughs> hold the door. Hodor. Hodor! Hodor, Hodor, like from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Is that a spoiler? Are, are, are you watching Game of Thrones without me? How far are you? I'm caught up. But that's our fucking show, Marie. Oh my God, it's everybody's fucking show, okay? All my coworkers talk about it. What do you want me to do? Like so avoid spoilers? So you just sit there and pretend years? to cry when someone fucking dies? Yeah, I have. That's exactly what I do, and I do that with a lot of things, that's and so it's exhausting. Up. Who are you it's watching Sarah, Game of Thrones Monday with? Night Pilates. I'm not doing Pilates. I fucking hate Pilates. Who are you? I'm sorry. I really don't want to fight. I'm sorry. So, you weren't doing Pilates? No! <laughs> <laughs> I really thought you were getting more time. I, I was paranoid that you figured it out, so I started going up and down the stairs at work. <laughs> I don't know. On Mondays, I'd go up and down a whole bunch of times <laughs> during lunch. Things will get better. When? Penny, you here? Why's the front door open? Sorry, I'm late. You could have called. That was a joke. <laughs> okay, obviously. Is everything okay? Well, you didn't fix the AC. Hey, I'll, I'll fix it. Okay? No, you're not gonna fix it, okay? You don't wanna fix it because you're cheap and suffering gives you a god complex. Offered a promotion today. That's that's amazing. What does it actually does it matter? Hmm. We should celebrate. Yeah, that was my first thought. I can't wait to celebrate with Benny. But I can't call him or text him or email him or go out to an actual dinner with him or leave fucking Brooklyn because he doesn't exist right now. And if I take this promotion, we could exist even further apart in time. And I know you don't think that will happen again, but you don't know that, so. I'm sorry. I don't want to live here anymore. Well, this is the only place where we could be together, so do you want to break up? No, I don't want to break up with you. I'm just so sick of this shitty apartment. Our apartment isn't shitty, okay? okay? It's a miracle, and we are not gonna find a better deal. I don't care. I don't want a better deal, okay? I want a central AC, and a washer, and a dryer, and a doorman. I want to live in Dumbo, okay? All my friends live in Dumbo. What the fuck is so great about Dumbo? Uh, in three years, everything is great about Dumbo. And you know what? I can afford it now. Nice. Real classy. Oh, come on. I didn't mean it like that. You know what, no, I'm not gonna apologize because I make more money than you because I chose a career with stability. Okay? You don't think that I'd like to spend all my time like watercoloring? No, okay, I hate my job half the time, but I do it so that I can afford things that I enjoy like brunch and health insurance and I could pay for us to take a trip to Santorini, but I can't take you with me because you're still living in the past. Okay, so that's it. Mm. I think I'm living in the past. Yes, 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 and I'm so 
sick of this, like, we're both living in our own present bullshit, okay? I'm not ahead, I'm not in the future, I'm in the now, and you're in the past. Do you hear yourself? Hmm? You're fucking selfish, you Oh sound. my, how can I be selfish when I'm the only one making sacrifices? Okay, I can't talk to you about anything because you have no idea what's going on, all right? You don't know what's on Netflix, what's in New York, what's going on in Syria. I mean, you have what no you idea do, who huh? our president is. What do you want me to do? Be a man and catch up to me like you said you would. Okay, just like you said that you fixed the AC and you said that you'd apply the wallpaper that's been sitting in the fucking closet for the past two years, okay? Just like you said that your friend at Columbia Records was gonna hook you up, okay? It's not gonna happen, Betty, all right? You're either a doer or you're a... A, what? a loser? A deadbeat? Just say it. Just say it. Just fucking say it. You're holding me back. Then go. Seriously, get the fuck out of here. Okay. I mean, just imagine how far you could get without me. 10, 20 years, you'll be in your stupid fucking Dumbo with your $50 avocado frappuccinos. Don't let me hold you back from everything you want because it's all about. Jesus. Hey, where were you? What? Where was I? I was here, like we planned. It's six. Where were you? I mean, you couldn't be I was bothered. here. I was on time. No, you weren't. Okay, you know what? I, I can't deal with this right now. I have to go to work, what, all right? What are you talking about? It's Saturday afternoon. No, it's Friday morning. 
No, let's... Where do you want to go first? Mm. Brazil. <laughs> Closer. <laughs> um, Yosemite. Closer. The roof. Okay. Still want to move? I mean, we could at least. Oh <laughs> my God, Marie! are on the rise. Several smaller groups have sprung up.
your teeth out for a fang check. Hey, hey, get up! Get out. Come on. Get back in line! Just a move, you little blood sucker. What the fuck are you doing to him? Get back in line! Are you gonna eat me? God, no, I... Listen, I have never killed a human. I've never even tasted human blood. I promise. I was living on synth blood until they started using it to bait us. What are you living on now? I try to be sustainable about it. Look, forget it.
Wait. I got this. All right, get a room. Key. Holy shit. I can't believe that worked. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, I did. out of here before these bang haters find us. Jerry? Everyone's looking for you. People are getting ready to leave. Okay, Joyce. Thanks. What you doing? Just thinking. Well, can you come back downstairs with me now? for your loss. Everyone means well. No, I know. And also, thank you so much for everything. I just, you know, he's not waiting for me somewhere. He's not in a better place. He is just gone. Actually, you know what? No, he, he's in here. I don't think he's in this to... urn. May I just... That's where he is. I understand. You know, you don't, though. You don't understand. Everyone in there is like, I feel him here. I can feel him. Well, I don't feel him anywhere. And that could have been anyone's fucking funeral, you know? I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Oh, Joyce, you know what? I'm an asshole. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. You're not. Honestly, all I keep thinking of is maybe I don't know, maybe we got together too young, you know? Like, somehow we used up all our luck or something. What was I talking about? I don't know. We were like 23 years old, you know? I know, I know. So, now, all my memories are with him, you know? I can't buy my favorite sandwich or Jeez. go grocery shopping or get into bed at night without being reminded but in the universe that like I'm alone Jerry. and every little thing that I want to try to accomplish. Jerry. 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 Yes. Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. I'm worried about you. Yeah. Look, would you go home, get some rest. I'll come by later. Bring a lasagna. Mrs. Kachensky, I, yeah. I hate to bother you with this. I need someone to sign. I'll take care of it. Uh, 
Joyce, you know what? You are right. I am? And here? Yep. I just, um, I am gonna go, uh, go home and healing lasagna time. That sounds great. Yeah, I... Holy shit. Jerry? I'm, I'm so, so sorry. I, I think you might, might think I'm someone else. Yum. Oh God, I think I Jerry, thought you Jerry, was... Jerry, no, no, it's okay. You always eat my food. Come on. Oh my God. Hey. Ah, uh, <laughs> I wish I had something fancier. Is beer okay? Beer is great. <laughs> so.
So um, this is my secret spot. It's not super original, but I like it. I like to come up here alone and get some space, watch the city. You are actually the first person I've ever brought up here. <laughs> Bad first date move, too cheesy. <laughs> Did I ruin it already? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I miss you so much. I miss you too. Please don't go. Jerry. I'm never going to see him again. You don't know that. The world is a mysterious place full of strange and unexpected things. Okay, Geraldine, it's time to come home. Just come with me, Fine. Jerry. Come with me. Stay right here. All right, I'll take. Don't do this again, Jerry. Stop it. Just stop it. No! <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Jerry, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so. You know, tag? Can't even read it. You aren't meant to. Rada. Rada. I don't get it. Rada's a Taino goddess. A guiding spirit. Isn't it not cool when you use something from world studies? You think they teach you this stuff in school? Still not cool enough, though. Go home. Not yet. You know, Mom complained about the post office running out of those, right? Songu, you didn't tell her I take them, do you? You know, if I did, you get it. That's Essa. Your stuff is better. Your old stuff. He doesn't do cute kid stuff, and neither do I. Yeah, but you can still, sometimes, right? Remember when you used to draw me stories once? Like this one. Shh. You were waiting for him. Shh. We shouldn't follow him, right? How come your bag's so loud? I got paint. How? Don't tell mom, but I borrowed. Borrowed? I grabbed the quarters from the laundry, okay? Can we go home? Shh.
kids creeping on me? Uh, I... You trying to drive my spot? Uh, my sister really likes your stuff. Is that so? Your Sessa. You right? She's really good. You speak for her? I, um, I, I do slaps, mostly. I haven't, I haven't painted yet. Chica, you, you Dominican? We're Puerto Rican. I just remember. Got it. You got paint? Maybe we can slap some walls. Get this the entourage, though. Just a second. Wait for me in the house, okay? I'm not supposed to be home alone. Just walk down Ingram, make a left, and you're on our street. Just watch TV or something. And I'll make you a sandwich when I get back. You'll be fine. Now, we're till mom if he sent me away. This is totally blackmail. I'm serious. Why? If you blow this for me, he's going to be lookout. I can hide. Nobody will see me. Sorry, Nito. Little kids attract more attention. Bye, Holoncito. I'm sorry. Come on, you know the way home from here. Just walk home by yourself for once. I don't know the way back. I don't feel too good. Okay, hide behind here. But if you see a cop or something, come running, okay? All right. Keep up. gloves? Third offense. I ain't getting bagged. That's it? That little tag? We gotta go big or go home. Sometimes you gotta put toys in that place. Whoa, what the hell are you doing? I, I... Yo, what are you doing? That's choking. You can't tag your toy shit over that. I, I didn't know. Give me your cans. It's choking's legend. Nobody touches it. It's been there since the 90s. I, I didn't know, okay? Don't lift your shitty work from his art. You done, toy. Come on, Mateo, let's go. Mateo? Mateo! Mateo! Mateo, this isn't funny!
Mama, I found him. Hey. Your mom's on her way. She went to the Bronx to see Maddie's dad. And you two are not allowed out of my sight until she gets back. Mateo's not feeling too good. How long you been painting? First time, I made a mistake. I painted over someone. What? Who? Cho King. Whoa. Let me see your Bible. My... Your book. King. That's me. Your letters are too hard to read. You're biting off all sorts of artists. You need to find your own style. I didn't, I didn't mean to mess anything up. I didn't know the rules. You don't need nobody to tell you what the rules are. Figure them out for yourself. Blaze your own trails. You were with dudes, right? Yeah. They thought you were a guy. <laughs> Little brothers can be such pests, huh? But then you wake up one day, and you realize they're grown men. They don't need you so much anymore. Hey. Where's the little guy? He's got the flu. Look, what's up with the other day? You know it's kind of hot. But you can kick it with me, that'd be cool. I want my paint back. Junior took my cans, and I want them back. <laughs> OK. Good. You ready? Yeah.
What is wrong with you, boy? They new clothes. Nicholas, you know this is a very difficult time. And it is a miracle that you have a roof over your head and food in that refrigerator. You should be counting your blessings, not moping around and being disrespectful. Now, what do you have to say to your mother? I love you, Mommy. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you, lifting up our dear sister Celeste. Mm -hmm. We ask, oh God, that you would just strengthen her as she battles this ALS. Mm -hmm. Lord, let your healing power flow through her from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Mm -hmm. And oh God, we ask that you would strengthen little Nicholas mm -hmm. in this hour. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. amen. Nicholas. 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 Where's Louise? Work. Hmm. The girl next door gonna come later afternoon. Hmm. Well, I have some good news. At long last, I have found you a Medicaid bed in a full-time facility. It's actually quite nice. I was shocked. <laughs> Truly, this is the best we could have hoped for. In Brooklyn. In Manhattan. You'll be near the ALS center, and they'll be able to work out transportation. No more carrying you up and down stairs. But the real point here is once the feeding tube goes in, even if you could afford the rent, after the feeding tube goes in, they can only release you to a care facility or to a family member and that family member simply cannot be Nicholas. You took very, very good care of my son. It's long past time we all started thinking about yours. So what I have here is the living well. 
Miss Siegel, you have the power of attorney? That's correct. These documents will provide medical directives in the event that you are no longer able to communicate with 2200 for that apartment is insane. It's not even a fake two bedroom, that's a one bedroom. Also, where even are we? Just so I'm totally clear, once you are admitted to the nursing facility, you will be listed DNR, DNI. Do you understand what that means? Thanks so much for showing us the place. It's a little small. Do you have anything bigger? Don't even think about my apartment. My mom's getting better. Are we staying here forever? Yo, you wanna run? I'm waiting on some new ones. Once I get those, I'm gonna be straight. I'll be out there with you. You're finally moving out of this place then? Yes. Sir? Nicholas. I got to live with you now. See here, I love that boy with all my heart. The boy is my life, and I go take him when it's time. Look, the man. Celeste can't speak she mind, but I am going to speak it for her. You don't have eyes in your head. Look at her! I mean, I tell you, when it's time. Nicholas, go on back outside. Hey, Daddy. Why are you here? I came to see your mother. Nicholas, you got to live. with your father. Now. What you mean? What mommy is trying to... Mommy has to go live in a nursing home and you have to go live with your father, but you can see her anytime you want. It's a lot of things we have to still work out. But there's nothing to work out. Woman. So that's it? 
You just giving up. You ain't even gonna try no more? It's not fair. Put on Put on you. Being here. Alone. With me. Mm. We were fighting though. Right? We were getting by. That's why I'm wearing these ratty ass clothes and these busted up sneakers. Cause we fighting to survive. Right? If you wanna cry, it's okay. Go on cry. Every flag I walk by is at half mass. The church, the post office, the library across the street. I can't remember if anyone important has died. It isn't the anniversary of some tragic event, I don't think. Maybe a priest and a postal worker have died on the same day. Maybe a librarian too. Or maybe we are all in mourning. I can believe that. I believe there's something to be sad about all the time. When you think about it, being happy is just forgetting all the bad things going on around you. Now that all the flags are lowered, it makes me think that everyone's remembered to be sad all at once. The only thing is, I still feel left out. I know what I'm sad about, but I don't think it's the same as everyone else. At least it's nice to know we're all sad about something. Thank you, Rashida. Thank you for opening up like that.
Thanks, guys. Bro, I gotta talk to you. What's up? So last week, why, why didn't you say nothing? What are you talking about? Don't play me like that, bro. I ain't playing with you, bro, nigga. you didn't say nothing. The fuck you wanted me to say? You know he was gunning for me. You know he does not want me on this team, bro. All right, bro. so come to fucking practice. Maybe we won't get kicked off then. Yo, you fucking serious right now? Why you mad at me You're for? You're fucking pathetic, bro. I'm That's pathetic. why. You're fucking All pathetic. Right, Whatever you say, Because if Coach had done that to you, I would have been on him. You wouldn't have said shit, bro. I swear I to God you I wouldn't have said shit. Nope. So, last week, when Chris telling you, oh, you're Shut ugly and she doesn't up. want to Stop talk to you no more. Chris. Really? Come on. Why you mentioning? Yo, I was there. My Chris. Yo, he was crying. Why you talking about Chris? Yo, what's wrong with y'all? Y'all both sound like y'all dating each other. Y'all want to suck each other's nuts or something? Yo. Come on, let's get the fuck off me, bro. Get off him. Everybody sprints right now. Let's move. Amber thinks she's all that. Well, she is pretty good. She ain't shit. Why are you even hanging out with her? I told you not. Anyone could be on the team. Rayel said I didn't even have to try out. She said Tracy, Kylie, and Brooklyn got cut yesterday. I thought you weren't hanging out with her. I'm not. She just told me. How'd she tell you if you two weren't hanging out? I can't talk to her now. You can't talk to her and tell me you're not talking to her. You could have just asked me to practice with you. out that I was too much for him and he couldn't deal with me and instead of telling me hey I don't want you to be my girl no more he just continued to you know be around me kiss me want all that shit but then after a while I was like okay clearly you made up your mind you don't want anything so why are you still doing it? You don't know me. You don't know me. I'm the girl who sits next to you in world history. And when you tell a story to the class, I'm the only girl you don't look at. I'm the girl who spilled her lunch tray in the cafeteria last week and was so mortified I could have died right there. I could have sunk into the floor and never seen another day, but lucky for me, I'm so invisible, you didn't even look my way. Even when my Snapple bottle hit the floor with the loud BAM, and Mrs. B had to help me clean it up. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you do know me. Maybe you know me better than I know myself. You think I'm a sheep. You heard me bad, haven't you? Bad, bad. Or maybe I'm a wolf. A wolf you've mistaken for a sheep. What if I'm a wolf? 
What sounds does a wolf make? Or maybe I'm a bug. A little creepy, crawly little bug you just want to squish under your shoe. Or maybe I'm looking down on you, laughing at you. Laughing at how you look at yourself in the mirror 10, 15, 20 times, making that stupid face, brushing and slicking your hair back just to return to Mr. Brayson's class to sit at your desk to watch the white spit form in the corner of his mouth. No one's watching you. No one cares about you more than you care about you, but maybe that's good. Maybe it's good to care about yourself so much that you take a selfie every single day just to see which part of your face looks good on the bus ride home. What are you thinking now? Do you hate me? Are you leaning over to your very best friend who just yesterday you said had a big fat nose and no boy is ever going to like her? Are you whispering to her that you hope I kill myself? If you tell me you hate me, maybe I will never speak again. If you tell me I'm ugly, I'll skip school for three days with a really bad cough. <coughs> <coughs> My mom will write a note. <laughs> Thank you for listening to what I want to say. Not really like you have a choice. You have to be here. Unless. You're upstairs, working on the light board, making out with the girl you say is just a friend, even though you know she's been in love with you since the fifth grade. Yo. Well, now you know me. You really know me, don't you? You know everything there is. What do you think?